Hey yo everyone, welcome back hey. to my channel. Navy's actually Asleep. taking a nap right now. I think yesterday and the other day worn her out too much. So. Yeah, she's super tired today. So we're gonna let her sleep, it's just Kale and I for the intro. But today I have another how I pair my hygiene products video for you guys. I still have quite a bit more product pairings to show you after this one. But hopefully you guys enjoy what I put out in this video today. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so first off, I have the St. Ives Exfoliating Body Wash in Sea Salt and Pacific Kelp. I haven't used this bottle yet, but I have used this body wash before and I actually do really, really like it. So it's one that I recommend as far as like St. Ives body washes go. I just really like the smell of it and I think it's perfect for summertime. For body scrubs, we're gonna wanna pair it with the Ocean Breeze Sugar Scrub from Nectar Bath Treat. Despite the fact that these are two different brands, they smell exactly alike. I mean, this is a perfect match and pairing. I can't even explain to you how perfect it is. And I've talked about Nectar Bath Treats to you guys before. I love them. I do have a discount code. I will leave it in the description box below. This is probably my favorite scent from them so far. And I'm absolutely obsessed with the color of it. But I mean, I feel like as far as smells for sugar scrubs, then like out of my tree hut scrubs, this is probably in my top five favorite smelling ones, if not top three. For shaving, we're just going to go in with the favorite Flamingo Foaming Shave Gel with aloe vera. Deodorant, I don't really have a scented deodorant that matches this perfectly, so I'm just going to go in with the Sensitive 0% Aluminum Deodorant from Dove. That way I don't really take away from the scent that I use in the shower. I want to go in with the Water Lotion with Sea Minerals and Hyaluronic Acid from Pink. I actually really do like this lotion. The scent is a little bit different, but I think it pairs with the rest of the stuff really nicely and it's blue, so like it matches perfectly. It's kind of hard for me to find a scent that matches perfectly as far as lotions go. I haven't really found one, but again, I think this is a nice base to kind of accentuate the other smell. And to finish it off, we're gonna go in with the Salt Water Breeze Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. I love this one and it's just like absolutely perfect. Here is the little day at the beach, but you weren't really at the beach squad. I love this one. Again, it's perfect for summer. It just smells so like nice and fresh and it's a pretty strong potent scent, especially from these two and then just adding the little fragrance mist on top, I think it just finishes it off like perfectly. So I highly recommend this squad right here. For the next routine, we're going in with the Mixed Berry Tart from Philosophy. The body wash itself, I will say, I don't think it's really worth the money. I think the rest of the routine really makes this body wash stand out. On its own, the scent is not that strong. And I got this from... TJ Maxx on so it's cheaper from TJ Maxx than it is like in its original form and even then I still don't think it's worth the $11 however I mean it is a nice body wash and if you're looking for one to kind of pair with the rest of the stuff I'm about to show you I do think that it really works for that but I definitely wouldn't pay full price for this brand I don't think that the body wash is anything like extravagant. Okay, sorry, I moved that other blanket. I felt like it was getting too busy in the background. I'm going to pair that body wash with the Tree Hut Lemon Blueberry Tart. It does actually match the body wash perfectly as far as scent goes, but this is so much stronger than the body wash. So like I said, if you're looking for a good squad to pair with this, I do think, you know, that's the body wash to go with. If you didn't have this, I wouldn't spend your money on that. But together, they just really kind of make the heart sing. Shave, I'm just going to go in with the Equate Shave Gel with Vitamin E for dry skin. For deodorant, I don't really have berry type deodorants, but I find that the pomegranate one goes with this squad pretty well. I prefer to use the dry spray. I think it has more of a berry scent actually than the stick itself but I think they're both really, really good. For lotion, it's gonna play well off the deodorant and the body wash and scrub together. We got the 
pomegranate raspberry from EOS. It does have that really good berry scent, but also the pomegranate, like I said, because since it was in the deodorant, I think it just kind of balances it all out. Finish it off, we're gonna go with into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works. It does have berry notes in it, so it's got the Raspberry Muir, which I feel like is very berry forward, which goes with this routine perfectly. But the Amber Crystals Velvety Rose Petals Creamy Patchouli, I think is how you pronounce it, and the Mocha Musk. It has kind of like a masculine scent to it, but it's very, very deep and sexy. So I really kind of like to pair it with this routine. I mean, this is kind of like a little light and airy and fruity, but the scrub itself, I feel like has a deep sexy note to it. So to pair it with this, I think kind of, again, just brings it all together. So yeah, here's my little berry tart squad. I actually showed this routine on my TikTok. If you're not following me there, make sure you guys follow my TikTok. I do post like a lot of shower routines and like organizing and cleaning and kind of like ASMR videos on my TikTok as well. Next up, we're gonna start with the Method Body Acai Mulberry Goji Berry Berry Balance Body Wash. You guys know I really love Method Body Body Washes. I think their products are really, really good. As far as scent goes, this probably isn't my favorite for Method Body, but I feel like I found a routine that kind of, you know, makes it really, really nice. For scrubs, we're gonna go in with the Tree Hut Island Bliss Shea Sugar Scrub. It has a hint of coconut. It's not too coconut forward like the Coca Colada from Tree Hut, but it is kind of there. To me, this is just like another layer of scent that I think pairs really nicely with the body wash. I mean, if you were to have like a fruit bowl or a really nice acai bowl with mulberry, goji berry, and coconut, that's exactly what I think of when I think of this kind of routine here. And obviously you can't deny that the color together just goes absolutely perfectly. Like it, this is a dream combination as far as colors go. For shaving, again, we're just gonna go in with the Equate Shave Gel with vitamin E for dry skin. And again, I don't have a berry deodorant, so I'm just pairing it with the pomegranate dust spray. Like I said in the previous one, to me, the spray has a more berry forward scent than the stick, so I'd probably use this one more than the stick itself. For lotions, we're gonna go in with the St. Ives Revitalizing Acai Blueberry and Chia Seed Oil Body Lotion. I mentioned before that this wasn't my favorite scent from St. Ives, but I decided to go ahead and try it. I like it outside of the bottle like on my skin more than inside of the bottle. I love St. Ives lotion. You guys know I have a ton of their scents. To me, they are just like perfect for hydrating. They're light, they're not greasy, and I just love the way they make my skin feel. Isn't too strong of a scent like I feel the other bottles that I have are, but it is a nice berry forward kind of lotion for this routine. Like I said, when I first smelled it, I didn't think I was too keen on it and I was thinking about giving it away, but once I actually put it on my skin, with this routine, I think it went really, really well together. Again, we're gonna finish it off with Into the Night Fine Fragrance Mist from Bath & Body Works because of that berry scent. Here we are with another berry squad, but they both have like their own identity. They're not the same, despite the fact that they're kind of berry forward. They bring on different vibes. So I like both of them. I think they're both good for summer or just like spring, good warmer month type of scents. This next routine that you guys have seen if you watched my refreshing shower routine, but if you haven't, I'm gonna show you what that squad looks like. So first I went in with the Dove Go Fresh Cool Moisture Beauty Bar. I absolutely love this bar soap. I'm not too big of a fan of the body wash in this scent, but for some reason the bar soap just kind of handles things differently. I don't know. I really, really like it in the bar soap. It's not, got a nice strong scent, so it's really great as a base for the rest of the squad. A body wash, we're going to go in with one of my favorites. It's the Method Body Cucumber Seaweed Green Tea Deep Detox Body Wash. I absolutely, oh, there's a little bit of dog hair on it, sorry. I absolutely love, love, love this body wash, I would pick it over the Dove one like a million times out of all the cucumber type of body washes I've ever seen or tried. To me, this one is 
the absolute best as far as like consistency, the way it makes my body feel, the scent, everything. I just love this one. I actually used two different types of sugar scrubs for this routine. I love the Tree Hut Matcha Mojito one. I think it is such like a breath of fresh air. I mean, I've bragged about this so many times before and I feel like I'm just kind of repeating it, but like it literally feels like you're on a beach somewhere having a nice alcoholic drink and it just kind of takes you away. I cannot express to you guys enough how much I love this body scrub, the color. I mean, y'all know I love Tree Hut, but as far as like scents go, I've mentioned before that some of their scrubs aren't that really strong in scent. Some of them are pretty strong. This one is definitely up there as far as potency goes and it's just like a beautiful it's just a beautiful scrub the mojito part of this just adds like another depth to this squad but the matcha part pairs really nicely with the green tea and the cucumber from the body wash and bar soap that we used prior now if you really want to go all in with the green tea tree hut does have a green tea shea sugar scrub which i also really love the color of this is just so freaking beautiful like oh my gosh it is a dream I want to dive into it the smell isn't as strong as the matcha mojito but it's pretty forward like I think you can smell the green tea really nicely it's got a little bit of a fruity hit to it I would say okay for shaving I actually don't think I used this in the shower routine but here the tree hut coconut lime shave oil I absolutely am obsessed with the Tree Hut Shave Oils. I think that they give a beautiful shave. And I think that this is okay to go in with this routine just because the coconut lime scent is not too forward in the shave oil. Now, I think that the body scrub, you could pair with it, but I do think that it's more coconut lime forward and kind of takes away from like the green tea cucumber that we were going in with prior so I technically personally wouldn't pair the body scrub with this routine but I think going in with the shave oil is fine but I'm pretty sure I used the flamingo foaming shave gel but looking at it I mean if you really wanted to be green forward I think this is like perfectly okay to use and you wouldn't really take away from the other scents but you would just kind of add like again another depth to it and we're gonna go in with the zero percent aluminum cucumber and green tea scent this is one of my all-time favorite deodorants lastly we want to finish it up with the cucumber melon bath and body works fine fragrance mist so actually i want to show you guys something really quick that i technically already showed you in another video of a pairing but i tried a different routine on tiktok and it's actually one of my most viewed videos right now and i love it a lot more than what i showed you guys Previously, so I want to show you if you watch my other how I pair my hygiene product video so far You see me mention this Dove revitalizing blue fig and orange blossom body wash it pairs absolutely perfectly And I do mean perfectly with the tree hut sugared fantasy shea sugar scrub that they're a perfect and matching colors the scents just are like made for each other also think that the pomegranate Dove dry spray deodorant goes really well with this even though it's a different fragrance note this just goes with so much somehow like it just pairs perfectly with a bunch of different things i don't know how they managed to do that but they did perfect lotion for this squad yet so i just use a basic one that doesn't really have much to ascent to it last time i showed you guys the beach fragrance mist from bath and body works to pair with this routine and i have to say this raspberry tangerine one goes with it a thousand maybe even a million times better i think it's the tangerine in it to go with the orange blossom i don't know but this body mist right here please if you're gonna get these products right here please pick this up not only is this probably one of the best scents i feel like from bath and body works not just for like summer months but in general to me this is one of the best smelling sprays and i've had it sitting on my car i forgot i had it actually and when I was filming the TikTok, I saw it and I was like, oh, the tangerine might go really well with this routine. And then when I sprayed it, finished the routine, I was like, wait a minute. This spray is actually <laughs> really freaking nice and it just goes with everything. So still, if you got that, think that the beach goes with this kind of squad nicely. I don't think that you can go wrong with that previous set. But if you're open to it, y'all, please try this if you haven't yet and try it with this. I promise you will like not regret it. It's just, it's everything together. And find like a kind of sugary lotion to go with this. I have the Bath and Body Works Velvet Sugar one. 
But to me, that's very cotton candy-ish and doesn't really pair well with this type of sugar smell. I thought that they would pair well together, but to me, they don't personally. So I don't use it with this, but I'm hoping to find a lotion that pairs with this. Okay, so this next squad is technically something I use for the cooler months, but it's definitely one of my favorite sets altogether. I think it's also one of Trevor's favorites because I remember using this for a date night and he couldn't stop talking about how good I smelled and how soft my body was. So I wanted to share it with you guys. You can obviously use this for the summertime. I know not everybody pairs their products by season that's just kind of how i do it so i wanted to show it to you guys anyways because like i said it's probably one of my favorites and one of trevor's favorites body wash we're going in with the method body coconut rice milk shea butter body wash this i think is my number one favorite from method body might be my number one favorite body wash i don't know it's definitely in the top three i would say i just love the kind of like toastiness to this body wash which is why i say i think it's perfect for the cooler months it's not something that screams like summer coconut to me i think because of the shea butter and rice milk i don't know but it just has like a nice warm coziness to the body wash i think the smell is absolutely delicious and i love it hairs so freaking perfectly with the dove exfoliating body polish crushed macadamia and rice milk like oh my gosh again it has that kind of warm cozy toasty type of scent to it the fact that they both have rice milk i don't know just kind of made me squeal for joy because i had this body wash and i got it like in december which i'm i use it here and there i only have like this much i don't know if you guys can see i only have like this much left and i'll probably use it before the cooler months just so i can get a new bottle once it starts getting to that time but I didn't have a body scrub to go with this, so I was just using it by itself. I didn't think the coconut body scrubs that I had really went with this. And then I picked this up to go with the Dove Deep Moisture. But one day for our date, I decided to try this because I saw that they both had rice milk. I was like, okay, maybe it will go together. And when I used it, oh my God, I was, I was just like so happy. And the fact that Trevor really liked it just made it a million times better. So definitely think you should get this polish if you are going to pick up this body wash or vice versa. I go in with the Equate Shave Gel with Argan Oil and the Coconut Scent Lotions. We're going to go in with one of my all-time favorites. It's the Nivea Oil Infused Lotion with the Coconut and Manoi Oil. Again, to me, this actually pairs really well with the summer one and this winter one it just kind of like plays off both notes even though this one's more like the toasty kind of smell you know i don't know how it kind of relates to both but it just does then to finish it off use the frosted coconut snowball fine fragrance mist from bath and body works this has fragrant notes of frosted coconut north pole vanilla winter freesia snow kissed woods and spun sugar so it just has i mean a good like winter coconut smell which i feel like i keep saying that but i don't really know how else to describe it so it goes really well with this set in my opinion what i used for this date night however i didn't have this and i know this is at the beach so in your head, it's probably more of like a summertime scent, but the fragrance notes are a toasted coconut and it does have that toasted coconut type of smell. So it's very deep, I think as a scent, if you wanted to pair it with this in the summer or the winter, I do think that this scent should go for both. This is the one I go for the most, but this is a seasonal scent. So if you don't have this and you wanna get the rest of the products, this one I think matches perfectly with it as well. I don't think you can go wrong with either body mist. That is it for this video of how I pair my hygiene products to smell good all day. Part six, I believe is what number we are on. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the squads that I showed you. Let me know if you guys have tried these sets before or if you are going to and how you like them. I'd love to hear feedback from you guys that watch my videos and if you use the pairings that I have showed you. You guys are all amazing. I love you so incredibly much. I hope everyone has a fantastic week ahead of them and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys!